Hello and welcome back to another housing video covering all of the items added in patch 6.5 when we unlock them. Not just housing videos, but we're looking at everything from this patch where possible. This is another housing item you can craft. This time we're looking at the Mandeville's Adventurer Flakes, which is something I'm really looking forward to see. I've not looked at any of these items yet, uh, personally. So if you want to make yourself some Mandeville's um cornflakes essentially this is a culinarian recipe cooking recipe level 90 basic 2805 craftsmanship recommended as usual using eight of your water crystals and fire crystals cornmeal snurbleberries ovi boss milk and palm sugar along with one charlian rock salt will make this item it does say on it mandeville and mandeville's lovingly crafted mandeville's adventurer flakes mandeville mark certified supplement the diets of growing adventurers with the nutrients they need while providing the convenience and non-perishability they crave now with flavor so these things don't perish again Obviously, if you were to use all 10 uses of this, it would turn into just a plate, most likely. We'll look at that as well. We always do. It is a dieable item. I don't like using up the food items. It always feels like sacrilege to actually, um, you know, use them. But uh, definitely do like the culinarian stuff. Let's plop this on a table and see what it looks like. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay i'm a slight bit disappointed because i expected there to be like godbert or hildebrand you know just hanging out on the side of a packet or something but it's actually like a tin box which i suppose is how traditionally you would put that kind of food together it looks like bran flakes or corn flakes with some strawberries on the top with some milk and as well as this beautiful tray the sort of serviette and the the flowers there the white roses are those something like that they don't look like roses but maybe they are yeah okay fair enough i think they're the same color roses or whatever but would be in like the pocket of god but or something like the breast pocket it's cool isn't it it's cool again a missed opportunity maybe to put the uh, one of the characters on there but i don't know if they could get away with that without some spoiler reasons or something i don't know it's just cool it's just a really nice item and one that's actually going quite well for, for Gil at the moment, but it's really easy to craft, which you'll find with a lot of these videos. Just a nice item. In terms of diability of this, then, I can almost guarantee you that it's not going to be the food itself. It's most likely going to be the tray. Am I right? Yes. Sir. Oh, no, I'm not right. I thought it was going to be the tray. It's actually the cloth or, or serviette, as I called it. That's surprising, actually. Very surprising. I thought it would have been the wooden tray. But I suppose if you want to have a really, really bright red rag to put your spoon on. Yeah. Eh, okay. That's one way of putting things in. I think this is one of the items that would benefit from the dual die channel, ultimately. But again, it's just a nice little extra, isn't it? One of the other things I said we would do, which still feels like sacrilege to do, is we're going to use up those, um, the amount of items. So let's eat the first one. Eat the second one. This always feels terrible to do. Just wasting the well-fed buff. That's, again, not really that useful. But I want, to, I want to see what happens when it's empty. Is it just an empty bowl? What happens? So it's just an empty bowl. <laughs> it's just an empty bowl of cornflakes with a tiny bit of milk left over. Now, you see, if it was me, I wouldn't leave any milk left. I'd tilt the bowl up to my face because I'm a heathen, and I would just drink that straight from the bowl. That is that is sacrilege in itself, just saying that. I do like the fact that the spoon has moved from the serviette to inside the bowl, though. Nice little finishing touch there. Really cool item. Easy to craft. A good gill maker for now, at least. Definitely go and make this yourself. And especially add this to like your dining area or something. And add a bit of Mandeville charm. But yeah. Very cool. Let me know what you think about this one. And uh, links in the description to RPG Lumi who helped me make this one as well. And I'll see you all next time. More videos on the way.